Hello there, Madrahill. This is Stellaris. It's 66 years into the game right now. We're preparing for our second war against the League of Uclep. And the uh, Braves will be beginning soon in about 10 years as well. Technology which is fun. Starbase upgrade cost. There we go. Ah, uh, what cruisers hasn't appeared? Ah, there it is. Boom, 42 months. I can build that. Now, I think a big problem I have Ships right now, though, is I just do not have anywhere near enough alloys. I think I should probably be buying, like, 20 alloys. Let's just try and buy 20 alloys a month. Ah, oh, that's cool, man. Let's keep going. Alright, so I could maybe try and grab, like, one more system from these guys. It would be good to grab that planet. Obviously, I'm going to have to... Ooh, it's an energy credit producing planet. Yeah, I need that one, baby. Oh, my own boy. How are we doing? Currently, the Sigans are in control of the various things. We are still gaining a max of 10 XP. Nice. So next level is 4. So it's going to take a long time. I'm probably going to have to do my second run. The thing is, is I can actually... I don't know, man. I might be able to get it to high. I might be able to get it to strongest. Ships that would be very great. cool. Because, like, vote weight is equal or diplo. Votes are determined by diplomatic weight more influ... Yeah. Diplomatic vote. Let's go. Okay, so now everything is now decided by diplomatic vote. That's pretty cool. Entente coordination. Most important purpose of any successful interstellar inter 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 federation is the mutual defense of its members. Federation naval capacity. Let's go. All right, and that gives us some very nice things because now we have this. Object integration, leader level cap. Now I could try to vassalize peeps. Edict duration. Monthly, ooh, unity and pop many users. Although, to be honest, galactic force protection does seem to be the right one. No, you're not, you're not spamming, Gabe. Keep it going, go ahead, buddy. Thanks for it. See you around, buddy. Subject integration, influence cost, subject trust cap. I will go for interstellar uh, galactic force protection for that dank naval capacity. Why am I not losing a billion energy? Oh, because I'm buying so many alloys. Okay. Let's change this to selling 60. 80 minerals. Try and catch this up. Because we need stuff. Oh, my market trade hurts. Market fee hurts a lot. Okay, so currently... It's pretty good. Total cohesion is going up, which is nice. All right. So vote weight is diplomatic. Invite members, kick members, free migration. The birth of galactic markets. All right, de facto galactic trade. Unbound by the formats of international diplomacy since we first discovered not alone in the universe. We have to legitimize this commercial forum. Independent traders and government agencies are looking to establish a quasi-centralized hub for galactic commerce. Okay, begins the founding the galactic market event chain. Nominate the nominate for galactic market hub. Well, I think we should definitely make our beautiful capital the galactic hub, personally. It has so much trade. Oh man. Requires Oh, it's I like the influence. Applies a pace marketplace competitiveness rating modifier according to its local conditions. The better the rating, more likely it will play host to the future galactic market. Cool. Just need a touch more influence. Ooh, that gives me a lot of minister capacity, but I can't do that just yet, so that's fine. Give me that food. And that energy. All right. Go. Well, to be honest, it would be great if I could get that claim. I really kind of want that claim. That's what I want. I want that planet. 
And that'll be my, like, last vestige. Ooh, we should also upgrade this. Get a little bit stronger. When's that truce up? Oh, it's up now. Okay, here we go. How long until I can grab that? 13? So that's only like three and a half months. Three months from now, let's go. So ready. Oh yeah. We definitely do need to try and increase our like planet size and stuff. Ooh, allied Nurian worlds against Quanti manufacturing. Oh boy. These guys are actually quite a big. Actually, they only have three planets. They're actually quite garbage. But they're meant to be playing quite tall, I think. So. I'm still kind of holding back on expanding this way because I need to use the influence to grab this. Boom. All right, let's go. Oh, my fleets aren't ready. Ugh, jackass. Once the fleets are ready, we'll start jumping them. Just grabbing everything and just running over. And I don't have any armies. Oh, no. Okay. Who's the best? So currently, I'm really weak. I actually am weak. Leading slow bleeders and strong. So the Sigans are very strong. Okay. So let's recruit from the Sigans, who are actually 39 pops. Oh, my God. So we could recruit some Sigans. Recruit three here. Three here. And three here. And let's make it four. Always a good idea to have at least some soldiers. Odd that we have such a mix. But oh well. Alright. Alright. Okay. We have a lovely thing going on here. Okay. Biocomputer Remnant, a, a yield further insight into planetoid hive mind's history. The region originated from a single planet as mere plant life. Prehistoric bio were all clones of their parent plants and gradually developed the capacity of hive conscious over millions of years of slow, peaceful growth on their home planet. Cool. And we do still have some unemployment there. And Asgard has unemployment as well. Let's get some more city districts together. I think we're going to need some amenities here as well. We definitely need to be cramming up the, the goodness of some of these planets. There's only a 13 tile there, but there is a 24 tile here. I don't. Who's the Arctic? Who's the species you can handle Arctic? It's the freaking rackets, isn't it? Oh my god, they're so annoying. I don't want to use you. Is it Serenity that's filled with them? No, it's not. Okay, good. The Sigans are breeding everywhere, though. Who's actually the most populous in the entire... Is it the Sigans? It is the Sigans. Oh, no. They're slow breeders as well. Crap. I gotta... I gotta pick this up, guys. I gotta start colonizing more. I gotta go, go, go. Ocean World 75. Big pile of food. You know what? Let's go here. Survey complete. Ah, oh, but they'll they'll just go there and have tons of habitability. No, I don't want to increase their ability to do stuff. Urgh. Tundra and desert. Damn my continental preference. It's messing me up. There's a spicy ocean world that way, but it's a bit too out of my reach. Damn, damn, damn. Just not a lot of planets for me to grab that are especially worth it right now. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Hostiles. Wait, what? Who's evading a hostile?
What is that? It does not belong to you. Bro. God damn it. Alright, fleets are here. Let's get them. Can we make any more claims? Nope, that's fine. Declare war. Conquer. Vote yes. They are a threat to democracy. Yeah. Stop being a threat to democracy. God. Okay, cool. And then once we're done with this, we'll move up north to try and kill those. See if we can grab some stuff. Okay, I just, I need to colonize more stuff, and I have not done that yet. I need to just be bigger and have more pop. These damn things. Damn you, you little rat fox. Much in you focus on the archaeological events, you'll understand in due time. That's true, there are a couple of really good archaeological Oh yeah, the bow, I should do that. I'll do that later then. Let's hope we pick the right path. There we go. And luckily, it looks like we're going to get cruisers in time. Ooh. A Guru Delta Crystal has been recovered, dating some 7 million years ago. It contains partially readable military records. Titanium to the plant's invasion. they expecting some measure of arm resistance were not impressed with the incredibly slow moving bow. The record describes the ease with the bow delayed response were circumvented in a highly derogatory fashion. Oh. Well, that's just mean. That's just mean, yo. Don't be mean. I still haven't even had a chance to fight their fleets, for God's sake. Alright, we'll just keep moving. Just keep pushing on them. Making a big pile of stuff. Got that star hold being built, which is good. I think we are going to need to build another star hold in the south as well. Could hire a little leader, -y boy. Actually, let's hire an admiral. A general, sorry. Let's do it. Let's, uh, let's go. How many jumps is this? It would be faster to get here. So 2070 or... Yeah, let's go here. Nice. A little bit of a... whatever it was, road distillation. All right. Technology discovered. And that is extra energy credits. Lovely. Auxiliary fire control. Yes. We're going to need to spending a lot of alloys soon to build a lot of ships if I want to resist against these bad boys. Because they're going to grow pretty big. Um, We have repeal cooperative research channels. No. Go away. Sod off, mate. These Sigans still have a ton. Damn. Wait a minute, we, we already... We have here season running... Oh, okay. Construction right, right. complete. Need to pick my planet to be the big boy. Yeah, let's pick, um... Let's pick old... Because this is a continental. I mean, maybe Atlantis would be a good one, actually. Right? All the theaters, administrative office, it's basically just a watery bureaucratic center. Wait, do I not even, am I not even, I don't, I don't even exist on this planet. Oh my God. So what determines the galactic hub? What actually determines it? How do we, how do you figure out who gets it? Let's take a look. I'm going to look it up right now. All right. Because it would reduce market fee. More business place to lower your odds. Smaller galaxies, fumers, you should always bid. A large galaxy should be more cautious. You bid a lot, mess a lot. And what determines it? Okay. For five years, L joins my booster chance by nominating one of their planets and by boosting the nomination bid. It randomly assigns a rating according to the table below. After the five years up, a selection lottery is drawn and one empire is chosen as the host. So, no nominations. So, random rating. 
Requirements chance to get this rating. Perfect strong rating and two bids. Okay. The winning empire did not nominate a planet. It'll be randomly. Then one of their planets will randomly be chosen. Any empire. Okay. That's not really very helpful at all. So I'll just. I'll just nominate a random one then. Just my main cap then. How's it going? The armies are on their way. We have Serenity. That's a beautiful little world here. And this urban world is definitely... I'm going to build another couple city districts. Because this is just going to be a big pile of city districts. And it is going to be a manufacturing world for me. It's going to build me some lovely alloys. Still have not sent any ships my way. Like, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Uh, Albion is now overfilled. I need to build some city districts. Oh, man. Now, Albion is, I think I intended it to be an agro world. Because it has a big pile of food. And I do like food. All right, keep going. Still making tons of minerals. This is great. I live it. I just love how many minerals there are. Oh, that's a nice tea. Okay. And once again, we're kind of just, they're kind of just ignoring us. I love it. So we're just going to grab all of these little systems. Take everything for ourselves and then recombine on Ancaster and then take it over. Pretty easy stuff. Technology Shouldn't discovered. really be an effort. And there is cruisers. Oh yeah. Now I think we should also unlock rail guns and start getting some better weapons before we start cranking out cruisers, but we should do it on the sooner side. I'm building a lot of alloys try and get everything together my lovely industrial world factory build speed and artisan upkeep oh yes so we're gonna get an alloy foundry here as well and you can build some of that oh it's finished Another Grinnell Dalkar has been unearthed detailing a series of military orders in coordinate coordinates of another former bow colony. Even to further unravel the history of these two foes are uploading the data now. Long updated. Another one. Okay. Third time's the charm. And this time it's over here. In the Furnid system. Alright. Go get it. Still no fleets. It's surprising. Really, honestly, quite surprising how little they have done to stop me. Survey complete. But we are pegged in by dimensional horror, sadly. Okay. Soon it's time to start destroying everything. Ah, and here's the other fallen empire. Uh, Stagnant ascendancy, holy guardians. Don't trespass in their holy sites. There is a third one somewhere. I just don't know where they're going to be. Special project the Silenced. While it doesn't seem particularly lush or remarkably resource laden, they're eager to begin a targeted excavation. Hell yeah. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's on this planet specifically. That's cool. Hazardous weather of atmospheric hallucinogens. Ah, oh, scientist died. This is the green boys. Uh, maniacal and psychic. Yeah, go on. Do it. Those Corvettes will go there. And then we'll go and kill in and cast our. And that'll basically get us everything we need. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, things cost that. Oh, I forgot to make my capital. Uh, yeah, let's make my capital it. Boom. Base marketplace competitors are getting strong. Cool. Can I do that multiple? T I think I can do that. Oh, no, you can only do it once. That's fine. 
So it's strong. Um, but it doesn't give me a boosted bid. Discovered. Okay. Like so we fire control and advanced shield. Ooh, antimatter reactor. Yes. Uh, this is struggling a bit. Oh, we need more clerks. That's fine. Very good. Let's get our army together. We're going to call it the Invasion Fleet. Yay. Yeah. All right, let's go. Here we are. And that's it for the episode, guys. Of course, like and comment as per normal. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.